Madam Speaker, I rise to support the objection. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. A day that was intended to debate the importance of election integrity and the rule of law tragically became a day that will be a black mark in our nation's history. Nevertheless, the work of this House must go on as America will go on. We must all sincerely thank the Capitol Police and Metro Police for their selfless actions today, putting their safety and lives on the line to protect, protect this House. The lawlessness and violence of today must be condemned, just as all violent protests must be condemned. Nevertheless, the fact remains, a large number of Pennsylvanians are enormously frustrated with actions taken by elected and appointed officials in Pennsylvania, which have led to a high level of distrust for this past election. We have the United States Constitution, which is the reason we have been and will continue to be a great country and a country of laws. The U.S. Constitution is unambiguous, Madam Speaker, in declaring that state legislators are the entity with the authority to set election procedures and to enact any changes to election law. Article 1, Section 4, Clause 1 states the times, places, and manner of holding elections shall be prescribed in each state by the legislator thereof. The authority of election procedures lies with the state legislator, period. In Pennsylvania, this authority was indisputably usurped by the Pennsylvania's governor's office, by the Pennsylvania Secretary of State, and by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. These unlawful actions include, but are not limited to, accepting ballots past 8 p.m. on election day, inconsistent application of verified signature requirements for in-person ballots versus mail-in ballots, authorizing the curing of mail-in ballots with less than 24 hours notice, leading to inconsistent preparedness between counties, and authorizing the use of unsecured drop boxes, which is not permitted in statute. If such unlawful actions are to be accepted, why do we ha what do we have to look forward to next year? The Pennsylvania Secretary of State allowing online voting because it may be raining in Philadelphia? It was a free-for-all. Madam Speaker, it was back in 2005 when then-minority leader Pelosi, while leading 31 Democrats as they objected to the presidential elector certification, as they did in the last three uh, presidential elections when a Republican won, and stated quite well, actually, that the members of Congress have brought this challenge and are speaking up for their aggrieved constituents, many of whom have been disenfranchised in this process. This is their only opportunity to have this debate while the country is listening, and is it appropriate to do so? Thank you for those words, Madam Speaker. They were appropriate then, as they are now. If there is an American ideal that all citizens, regardless of party affiliation, can agree upon, it is that we must have election integrity, integrity. We should not certify these electors, which were derived by unlawful actions and a result of inaccurate vote tallies. I yield the remainder of my time to Representative Joyce. You have to stay standing. Madam Senator Speaker. I rise in support of the objection. Tonight, my heart is heavy as we consider the dark acts that transpired in this chamber today. But Madam Speaker, the American people can be assured that violent and irrational attacks on this body cannot derail the constitutional responsibility that lies in front of us. This has always been about upholding the law it's always been about protecting government of, by, and for the people. Preserving the rule of law is more important than ever. We must acknowledge that unconstitutional acts unduly impacted the presidential election in Pennsylvania. Contrary to law, the Supreme Court extended the deadline for mail-in ballots for three days beyond the election day. Contrary to law, the Secretary of the Commonwealth discarded mail-in ballot signature verification safeguards. These leaders took advantage of a deadly pandemic and seized the state's legislature's rightful authority. I took an oath to uphold the law and defend the Constitution. I pledged to protect free and fair elections. I cannot in good faith certify electors that were selected under an unlawful process, I will object to the Electoral College certification to protect the will of Pennsylvania voters to uphold the law 
to restore trust in our electoral system and ultimately to save our Constitution. At Gettysburg, which is in my district, President Abraham Lincoln spoke about the great task of, of ensuring government by, of, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Thank you, and I yield. Expired.